Hello guys and welcome to episode 25 of my Napoleon Total War campaign playing as Great Britain going for world domination victory. Today we're going to be starting by spending our money but also moving the Duke of Wellington and any other armies that need moving. So the Duke of Wellington we need to take Innsbruck with him but first of all we're going to move north of Milan which is following an army that moved past us previously. They are hidden here somewhere, so we're just going to pursue them in this direction and then hopefully we'll see them next turn and maybe we'll be able to engage them, but we will see. Uh, there is actually a college here. I didn't notice this before. I'm not sure if it's worth maybe changing this to the members club or actually using it to research. I think we might convert it because I'm going to end up catching up with my research pretty soon. We got the abolition of slavery finishing next turn. That can then go on to something like Carcass Shot. Uh, we're also completing Joint Stock Company and Plateways. So, yeah, we're actually going to have one too many universities and colleges because I haven't got my self esteem powered factory yet or the Court of Appeals. How long until the Court of Appeals is finished? Seven turns. Damn, that takes a, a while. Uh, okay, uh, we need to upgrade a factory here as well. Oh, steam power factory, 10 turns. Damn. All right, well, we'll start doing that, I guess. And that will allow us to get steamships, the steam paddle frigate. It's pretty cool. Uh, we can also get the screw propeller or the 38 gun, 80 gun, and ironclad ships. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, what else can we get? That's going to give us the trading company dock available and the steam powered sawmills. Okay. Cool. Well, the steamships would be awesome to try out, but I don't think we're actually ever going to be able to see them in battle. Actually, that's a lie. If we don't attack Russia until the very end, they do have a navy that we could attack and try things against. <laughs> Uh, also Denmark as well. We could maybe leave Denmark because they have their fleet down here, their little trade fleet. But yeah, that's going to be uh, the money spent there at least. I'm probably going to want to build the magistrate in Venice to help with public order due to repression. And I'm tempted to do so here as well, but with the enemy army nearby, that might be a waste. All right, let's just go through lists uh, before we spend the rest of our cash. So this army... Uh, has already moved, or at least the fleet has. We don't want these guys here anymore. Actually, do they need to stay? No. Found those. Goodbye. Um, we can put these guys into Paris. Lovely. And at Paris, what are we recruiting? Three units of nine pounders and a unit of foot infantry. I think that's okay. Let's just grab another infantry unit there. Then we want a couple light foot, most likely, to finish that off. Let's do a light foot there. I might actually cancel this one, build two light foot. Because we've got four line infantry coming in from Amsterdam. Alright. That's those two armies on the ships there. Let's just go through fleets quick. I'm pretty sure we've already done this. Oh no, we haven't. No, we definitely haven't. <laughs> yeah, because uh, otherwise these ships wouldn't be in port. <laughs> well, we're going to put them all together there and they can all head up north. Wonderful. Now we're going to start filling up these nodes, the tobacco and stuff, because this is going to become more valuable now. Tobacco is worth 23, which is almost joint top. So, there we go. Is that the export value of our trade to Russia is 22,108? Is that how much that's actually like making us in total? Surely not. Maybe it is. 
Because the total trade income is 34,000. Wow. Okay then. Russia's certainly buying all of our shit. <laughs> um, right, let's double check ships again. Uh, these are all of our big fleets. Most of them are fine. We got Nelson, uh, who's heading towards Palermo. Let's see what's going on here, which is fine. So the one thing we need to hope for is that Russia doesn't declare war on us. Then we can get steamships involved. Because if they declare war on us before I've got steamships, then I'm going to have to wipe out the navy, otherwise it's going to go and attack all the merchant fleets. So that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it seems as though the AI just doesn't build more ships after they lose them is unfortunate because it makes the naval combat which is probably one of the best things about Napoleon Total War and Empire Total War completely redundant after the early game maybe it's a bit different if you're playing like one of the more landlocked nations like Austria and Prussia from the start hmm. anyway These spies should all be more or less in position. Go infiltrate Vienna. Looking and listening. Agent detected. That's no good. That's currently being upgraded to max. Look at that. All right. What else could we build? Uh, what's the tax like here? We've got thirty-three percent. What's it like at London? It's 33% as well. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where we upgrade stuff. But I think uh, getting the iron mines upgraded is a pretty good idea. I might change this gunsmith to a manufactory. Although I think the gunsmith is uh, pretty handy for helping us recruit extra troops. I'll just upgrade it for now. Put the money into that. Get the stud farm upgraded as well for the extra recruitment cost reduction for cavalry. Nice. I feel like the uh, buildings, like the building time is really disproportionate to like how fast the campaign goes. It's a lot of armies near Vienna. It really is. Oh, we managed to get an ambush. We got the ambush. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, I was talking about in the last episode what happens when ambushes occur, and I was told in the in the, uh, um, in the comments that you just get the surround on them, basically. But, well, this is us able to try it out. Let's jump on in. The Battle of Milan. Versus Paul Davidoch. Or Davidish. D Davidovich. <laughs> I think I had fun trying to say his name previously. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Right. How are we going to do this? I need my cannons probably lined up here, ready to fire at the start, straight away into the side of those formations. And I'm probably going to have a couple further down here, ready to fire into their horses. Cool. Right, what do we have on the other side? I'm going to have my light foot over here. The rest of the troops should be okay. Actually, no. We're going to need more on this side to defend. Alright, that's okay. And we'll have the fence balls on the sides. Yeah, maybe it will be okay. Hmm. 
have out of the way. Where are their cannons? The cannons are in the center. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to be able to get to them very easily. Yes, right, I'm going to start the battle. We're going to shoot their cav. And we're going to shoot their infantry. <laughs> Great. Okay, brilliant. Well, <laughs> that's most of their army already dealt with. Fantastic. Ah, uh, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, they're gonna charge into my fencibles and that's not really much I can do about it. Very awkward. Alright, let's have a unit come over and help out. Oh, they're just coming at us. They're just coming at us. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to come at them as well. Damn. Alright, they did stop. Thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, that could have got very ugly. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Alright, let's stop these. Well, make them fire cannons, that's probably a good idea. This was actually probably more messy than a normal battle would have been. <laughs> oh well. My militia actually managed to win the, the engagement against that cavalry, which is quite something. I'm just going to keep pushing through there. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be your reporting. Artillery reporting order. All right, that's them all dead. Definitely want to continue the battle. Stop those firing. We'll get the Duke of Wellington over there to help run down those units on the right hand side. I've got the two units of cav on the left hand side that can chew up these guys. 
I'll stop them firing now. Go. Cool. Look at that. There's like a like a line of bodies. It's pretty cool. How's he doing? Getting there. There's only two left in that. Okay, great. That'll do. Quit the battle there. Close victory. I think that was quite a bit of friendly fire. We are mighty and unbowed. Kills. Some of our foot infantry got 136, but yeah, it was mostly canister that did well. Cool. Nice battle. And Prussia's actually doing a tactical retreat by the looks of things. Uh, they did manage to take Oldenburg. They're not going to take Stuttgart. I thought they would attack Stuttgart at the end of the turn, but they didn't, so we still got that in our hands, which is something. Hopefully Hanover's at war with Prussia as well. That would be nice. I feel like that's something that might be the case. Oh, we will get a bunch of replenishment, actually. Yeah, we basically fully replenished because we were in Switzerland. Wow. That's nasty. All right, let's kill off this army. Victory. There we go. Right, and we'll carry on round to Innsbruck. We're so close to being in range here, but I feel like I should probably just carry on with Michael Stahl. They'll catch up eventually. We'll head towards Zagreb. Uh, there is an army in here somewhere that will try and take advantage of my position, so I'm going to come down this way rather than heading towards their capital because there's the main army in the actual settlement itself, then there's another army nearby that's maxed out, and then lots of smaller armies. But Oldenburg's a goner. Let's go and get some more tobacco. Loads of technology complete. And we got plenty of recruitment done. Alright. We got those boys recruiting again. Uh, we can get the 42nd now, which is good. I think we can only have one of them, though. Yeah. So that's fine. Here, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to put in a bunch more normal line infantry. That will go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll build a bunch of cannons at Paris. And that will be the army, more or less. That's one unit of like light dragoons as well. I think so. Cool. Let's just get these together. Make sure we're queuing these up again. Right. So that is all done. Let's go through our lists. I've got this fleet. Gonna head towards Sardinia. And both of these are probably gonna head in that same direction. Cool. We've got our new soldiers recruited at Amsterdam. They can head down towards Paris. From Cleves, probably want to head up and attack Oldenburg. 
but I'm a little worried that their large army is nearby. Sir, your orders? I'm not sure what this is. Ready for order. I might take a couple units out, like my depleted units. Oh, okay. Intercepted. <laughs> sure. Sure thing. <laughs> we'll fight that out so we can kill him. <laughs> this is so silly. So the AI's gone, oh, we can win that battle. We're going to intercept. Completely forgets about the reinforcements nearby. And we'll just beat things up. <laughs> Wait till our cannons are in, Damn, this and then we can off. shoot them. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Well, to be honest, if I can get a couple extra units of infantry, then we're we're good as well. It's kind of annoying that they're behind a hill, mind you. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. <laughs> we haven't even shot a single <laughs> bullet yet. Oh, God. I think I'm just going to use infantry. I can't be bothered to use my cannons. Maybe if I, like, unlimber the cannons, they'll come towards me. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. At least this way I can kind of pull them into a trap. I'm not actually going to fire the cannons at any point in this battle. Speed it up. Get all my men out of the way. Lovely. him to death and then we'll chase him down with cap. Right, let's just uh, move my cap to the left hand side. All those guys are already being fired at. Lovely. and killed off. <laughs> Been shot from all sides. We've got the force around. Right, we definitely need to continue it.
Okay, great. That's pretty much them all dead. Alright, we just had to make sure that we did that so that they die completely and we don't have to deal with them. And now what we can do is we can use George Townsend to attack Castle. Cool. Off we go. They are trapped. I'm not going to ask them for a surrender. I want to destroy them. If we can get into that army, then we will. Great. Perfect. Let's go. This should be pretty simple. The terrain looks okay as well. Yep. Nice and open. Plenty of space for our guns. Okay, this right side's pretty trash. I might just have to deploy further to the left. I do have a little fence here that I could maybe use, but I don't know. I don't think so. Infantry reporting. do. And I'll bring these guys back as well. They are all going to fire away. And these poor Prussian fusiliers that were left at the front. <laughs> I am going to want to try and take out Um, take out their cannons ASAP. I'm not really sure what they're doing here. If I'm completely honest. Ooh, nasty hit. I think they were trying to chase my own cavalry to stop them from hitting them in the flank. But I do want to kill off these cannons if I can. Get a bit close for comfort here. I need them to get hit by another cannonball. Go on, guns, do me proud. I can't let them get too close. That's annoying. Yep, otherwise, <laughs> what's going to happen is they're going to fire into our own units. Oh, God. Turn off fire at will, boys. Alright, cool. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Almost lost a lot of men there unnecessarily. Alright. <laughs> right, now you can fire at will again. I'll turn that back on before I forget. Now what? Start firing at that cav. 
Take out the lancers, thank you very much. Uh, let's fire in front of them, just slightly. That will cause them to get hit more frequently. Yeah, perfect. All right, now we need to destroy the cavalry on the right hand side. Actually, that's not even cav. Oh, interesting. Okay. Do they not have any more cavalry then? Had their leader, they had the other unit. But I don't see another unit of cav here. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to have to decimate this unit of Prussian fusiliers on the right flank. Or left flank, I guess it is. And then we can charge into their cannons. Wait, did I actually just kill a unit while it was limbered? I figured that wasn't actually possible because I failed at doing that so many times when I actually tried to. going to allow my cannons to keep firing at those Prussian fusiliers. If we can make them run, in, run away, that'd be great. They were the unit holding the left flank. I feel like they're going to be replaced now. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, my my own cannons are getting destroyed. That's nasty. Yeah, we've already lost two of them there. And these guys probably should spread out. As long as the crew is okay though, I don't mind. Interesting how they just decided to skirmish with us almost on that side. We uh, target the artillery directly. I reckon the shots will probably be worse. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. No. That's good. I killed another cannon. It looks like maybe that's made them come towards us. It's at least made them abandon them for now. Oh my lord, that range. <laughs> that is light foot, so I guess it kind of explains it, but still. General is under attack. Well, they better not general snipe me. I will not be happy. Alright, that's the units there dealt with. Cool, let's go kill off this other unit of artillery. Damn light infantry. With their extra range. How oh, dare they. Oh, 
Right, I'm going to start shifting my fencibles over here. back. Whilst my cannons keep firing. I'm just going to throw my militia into that engagement so they are the one that take damage instead. This regiment of foot. keep moving these further away from the Prussian Fusiliers on the right flank. Okay, perfect. That's that done. This would be easier, but they avoided like a lot of my cannons. Alright, cool. Let's get him off. Our men are running, sir. More fusiliers on the right side. Just keep moving everything back over here. We can use our cannons to kill them. That extra range is just disgusting. I mean, I might just be able to charge them with like all of these extra units. That might be the way to do it. In melee, and then we go. Let's charge him. And get my general over here as well to give us a bit of a morale boost. See? Cool. End the battle there. The heroic victory, apparently. Alright. I will take it. We will peacefully occupy it. Thank you very much. And we'll fix that up. Cool. And uh, I guess I'll send my spy up here to see what's going on with Prussia. Awaiting further orders. I assume they just moved back towards Berlin. Changing position. Seeking cover. We can't see their army. Doesn't mean it's not there. They might be hidden around Hanover. Potentially. We'll see. Anyway. So another unit there. Built. They can go into Paris. So this is what? Four more units? So what would we fill the army out with? It's just the cannons, isn't it? Yeah. 
I might have too many men there, honestly. Send these back to Paris. And yeah, we'll just stay in London while we recruit more this time around. Right, I might risk attacking Oldenburg if the armies are quite far away. No, even if we can't see them. Because I reckon even if they decided to attack us, we might still be okay. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, what we're going to do is probably just continue our attacks towards Prussia. Uh, we will be hitting Zagreb, so we'll be taking that from Austria. But we do have a couple of Austrian armies nearby that I will have to be careful of once I take that settlement. So I reckon we have some tough battles ahead of us. But I'm glad I cleared up that army north of Milan today quite easily. Alright, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.